Mmm, that's good. But how do we get this into this? Come on, we'll show you how it's done. Welcome back brewers and beer lovers to Flying Wombat TV, the channel where it's all about making fun and creative styles of beer with science and biotech involved. So lately we've done a lot of videos around, you know, brew days, around yeast propagation, around, uh, you know, mean beers, all that kind of thing. Uh, but we've had a bunch of you guys asking about how do you actually go about canning beers. So it's time to get into that today. Uh, we're going to show you the full process for how to get your awesome beers into these guys. So uh, let's get into it. Talking about the setup that you're going to need and the kind of equipment you're going to need to actually put the stuff into the cans. First thing is pretty obvious. You need a canning machine. So we use the cannula. Uh, there are a couple different types of machines on the market for like, you know, the homebrew scale. We got this one, so we use it. Uh, but we'll drop a link below on where you can get it. The other one is, name slips my mind, but we'll drop that link below as well. I've heard that one's also pretty good. Uh, coming over here, you need, you know, a bunch of cans. So you can buy cans, again, links, all the links for all this stuff will be dropped down below. Uh, we get our cans from Kegland, so you get a whole bunch of these, you know, different types of cans, 500 mil or 330 mils, with, you know, the classic type of lid or with the full aperture lid, totally up to you. Um, Stella Sand, just to sanitize all your stuff beforehand, so all of your cans, as well as your bottling wand, or, you know, people, different people call these different things. Bottling gun, bottling wand, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so our bottling gun uh, basically connects from here to our keg. So our beer line connects to the keg. We've got a gas line that connects to the gas. This gas also connects to the keg to keep pushing the beer through. So you need CO2 and a keg full of beer. So setting up the canning machine, what I mean by that is literally we just need to make this the right height for the 500 mil cans. I had this set up for 330 mil cans, so we just got to lower this a bit. So this thing just twists lower and lower and lower until it's at the right height for the 500 mil cans. Time lapse. Time lapse. <laughs> All right, now that that's done, nice and easy, uh, you basically want enough pressure so that as you pull this lever and the lid of the can goes up into the top thing, you want enough so that you feel a little bit of pressure, you know, putting that last little bit of the lever, but not so much that it crinkles up the whole can and crumples it, basically. You don't want it to be loose. You don't want it to crumple it. You want it in that nice little Goldilocks sweet spot. All right, now we can can this beer. All right, so we're gonna open up our gas tank. I'm gonna turn the gas down. Um, I'm gonna set it to about 10 PSI. Um, that's a pretty good, I mean, 10, you know, 12 PSI is basically what you have your uh, beers pressurized to when you're drinking it off the tap. So basically, whatever you guys use for uh, for your taps at home, if you use them, that's the, the pressure you wanna use. So we're gonna go with about 10, let's go with about 10, between 10 and 12 PSI. Uh, we're now going to connect our gas line to our keg itself. We'll just connect that onto there. So we've got our gas connected. Now we need to connect the beer line. So we'll connect that onto there. All right. Now we're good to go. So I recommend having like a couple buckets and stuff for this process. Just makes cleaning a little bit easier, especially if having a bucket for where you're actually going to fill your cans up into. Uh, Cause there will be spillover and stuff, but we'll get to that in a sec. So basically from here, there's two functions on this gun. First function, this little button here. Did I not connect that? Oh, I haven't opened up the gas lines. <laughs> First button here opens up the gas. So that basically you use to purge the uh, the can to get rid of all the, um, the oxygen in there and make a little blanket of CO2. Next button, this lever here, is the thing that opens up the beer line so the beer starts flowing in through into the can. So, First things first, let's purge this can. And I'll just do it for a couple seconds. Basically, you're just trying to flush out all the oxygen and make a little blanket of CO2 in there. Next thing is open up the beer line. You start filling it up with beer. I'm just gonna quickly do that for a second. All right, now we're good to go. So what you want is for this, uh, for the foam to overflow over the can. My preference is so that I can just start to see the liquid coming up out the top here. So about there. Alrighty. So we've got our little blanket of um, 
you know, foam and stuff coming out of the can. That's a good thing. This pro process is not neat. Now we close off this thing here so that we don't get, it's just a splash guard so that we don't get sprayed with beer. As good as that sounds. And then we click this little button here. So now we've got these two like uh, teeth things on either side that come in and, uh, and put pressure on the can as it's spinning at really high speed. And that basically screws and seals on the lid onto the can itself. So we'll show you again and uh, we'll get the camera to zoom in so that you can actually see it. All right, so just going through the process quickly. Um, basically, we've got our uh, beer gun. We're gonna purge this with CO2 first, so clicking that little button there, getting rid of all the oxygen inside the can, making a nice blanket of CO2. Open up the beer line with the lever. So it comes out of the, of the, uh, the uh, beer gun into the can. As the foam starts to overflow over the top, we drop the lid onto it, and then we throw that straight into the canning machine. So we're about to overflow, there we go. So we want that foam to protect the rest of the beer from uh, the environment, from oxygen. Now we close the lever on that, that's pressed nice and tightly into the top, um, I don't know what those things are called, the rotating thingies. Now as we click that button, each of those things are going to put pressure on either side of the can, sealing the lid onto the can itself, and there you go, a fresh can of beer. So there you have it guys, simple as that. That is how you can beer. So, um, pretty pretty simple process. We will do a whole video, uh, you know, coming down the line on the benefits, the pros and cons of say, canning versus kegging versus bottling, all that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, for the meantime, thanks for watching. Cheers and uh, brew on guys. Mm. Before I forget, mm, that's yum. Before I forget, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this channel. Really helps us out a whole lot. And leave plenty of questions down below if, if you're wondering anything about the process or if there's any future topics that you want us to dive into. Everyone, cheers.